Okay, so let's solve this. And what is this? What are we looking at here? Well, this is uh, pretty much a basic algebra type of problem. And it's not an algebraic equation. Okay, so what is it? Well, this little symbol right there tells us what this is. We got some, an x in here, so we're, we know we're dealing with algebra. We got a variable. But this is an inequality. Okay, so we want to solve this inequality, and then we want to graph the solution. Okay, now let's just quickly review the concept of a basic inequality. So what if I have this? Okay, so how do I say this right here? This is x, but what symbol uh, is that? Is this the less than? Or is it the greater than? Is it the less than equal to? Is it greater than equal to? Well, you see this symbol right here looks like if you, um, well, first of all, just tell the answer, it's less than. But you can see it kind of looks like an L, like a sideways L. All right, you can kind of think of less, all right? So that's one way, you, you know, for you not to confuse these symbols. And another way to kind of think of um, an inequality symbol is like an alligator. Okay, so here, it's like an alligator's mouth right there. Here's a little alligator. Uh, hopefully I'm drawing it pretty good. <laughs> it looks like a bird, a pretty terrible alligator. Anyways, you get the idea. The alligator is always going to want to uh, eat the bigger value, the bigger number. Okay. So what we're saying here is that this side is larger than this side. Okay. This side is less than that side. All right. So hopefully you understand that. And now let's quickly just talk about one other thing before we get into this particular problem. Okay. How, what is the answer to this particular inequality? Oh, x is less than 3. So what is x? What is the answer to this uh, problem? Okay. Well, if you said 2, okay, x must be 2 because 2 is less than 3. Well, that's pretty good. Okay, that's a pretty good answer. However, are there any more answers? Well, yeah, 1 is less than 3. 0 is less than 3. Matter of fact, 2.87 is less than 3. So how many answers can x be? Okay, well, x can actually be an uh, infinite amount of numbers. All these numbers that are less than uh, they're in, uh, 3 are actually a huge amount, an infinite amount. So that's why when we express our solutions with inequalities, we often use graphs. And it's not like an optional thing. You need to understand it. But this was a quick just, you know, um, review of real basic concepts with inequalities, and it's certainly something you need to uh, understand completely if you expect to be successful in algebra, which I know you can be. All right, so we're going to get to this problem um, and exactly what to do with, uh, with it and the skills you need before you even attempt this problem in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabba Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and I just want to tell you very briefly about my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. I also have a ton of test prep courses. So if you're taking any exam that has math on it, examples would be the GED, SAT, HiSET, Accuplacer, uh, Teacher Certification Exam, ASVAB. Um, you kind of get the idea. I can go on and on and on. If you're taking any exam that has math on it, I can help you prepare. I also have a great homeschool program. So if you homeschool, you definitely want to check out what I have to offer. Then obviously help those who are having a tough time in your current math courses. Now, if you are a student and your notes are anything less than outstanding, you need to work on your notes. I've been teaching math for decades. I'm telling you right now, most students don't realize how important their notes are. Take great notes and things will get better for you in mathematics and probably in all your other subjects as well. Uh, by the way, I have uh, notes, math notes, and I'm going to leave links uh, to all my different math notes in the description of this video if you want to check those out. Okay, so here is our lovely problem. Now, if you think you can solve this problem, okay, solve it and graph it, then, you know, turn this into a pop quiz, pause video. It should take you all of about oh, I don't know, um, 45 seconds at most to do this if you know what you're doing. But let's talk about a couple of things here. Before you uh, start this problem, you need to know how to solve basic equations. So you would need to know how to solve something like this, okay? So how do I solve this problem? Can you solve this equation? Now, if you can't solve this equation, you're going to have a difficult time with this inequality. So the first step when you're learning how to work with inequalities is make sure you know how to solve algebraic equations, okay? So a lot of students still struggle with inequalities because they really, you know, had a tough time with, uh, you know, they really still struggle with equations. So let's just quickly review uh, this particular problem. 
Okay, so how do I solve for x? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 1 to both sides of the equation. Okay, I don't want to turn this into a whole video on solving equations, but let's just do go ahead and review this. So negative uh, 2x plus 0 is going to be negative 2x. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. That goes away. Um, of course, I'm adding 1 to both sides of the equation. That's what I need to do. S 7 plus 1 is 8. So now I got this nice little one-step equation, negative 2x is equal to 8. So to solve for x, I got to divide both sides of the equation by negative 2. So x is equal to negative 4. Now, if you're able to do this problem on your own, you totally understand that, then I must give you a nice little happy face with a few check marks and a couple stars just to make you feel a little extra special. Okay, so nice job, right? So if you know how to solve these basic equations, then you should have no problem with inequalities. However, there is a couple different twists. And what we're talking about here is something called linear inequalities. Or there's an additional topic with inequalities called compound inequalities. And then we can graph uh, inequalities. We can have systems of inequalities. And, you know, the fun just continues. But let's just focus on this problem here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of think of our little uh, inequality symbol temporarily in our brain as an equal symbol. We're going, to kind of, we're kind of going to treat it as an equal symbol. We're going to follow the same steps that we just did right over here. Okay. However, we got to be paying attention because there are some things that, that affect the way this problem turns out. All right, so with that being said, here is our inequality symbol. We're going to kind of think of it as uh, an equal sign, more or less. So it's the same steps as the previous problem. I'm going to add 1 to both sides of the inequality. All right, so I'm adding down like so. So I get negative 2x plus uh, 0 is just negative 2x. The one, this negative 1 goes away, and I have 7 plus 1 is equal to 8. All right, so just thinking of this as if this was... Um, negative 2x is equal to 8, I would just divide both sides of the equation by negative 2, and I would have my answer. But what am I doing in this step? I'm dividing by a negative number. Okay, now this is where you, you know, this is why you have to take notes, because there's all these little details here. Anytime you divide by a negative number, okay, where we're talking about inequalities only, or you multiply both sides of the equation by a negative number, then you must do the following. This is critical, critical, critical. You want to pay attention to me, okay? So here, this is less than. Now notice what happens to the inequality symbol. It flips. It reverses, okay? Less than is going to become greater than. If I had greater than, it would become less than. So anytime, uh, not when you divide by a number, by a negative value, okay? So if you're multiplying or dividing both sides of the inequality by a negative value, you reverse the inequality symbol. So when I do that, I end up with x is greater than negative 4 because 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4. That is the solution, okay? Now, if you got that right, then I must give you my awesome 1983 uh, crazy mohawk. Okay, yeah, we used to, I don't know what it was back in the 80s. We liked crazy hair, and we also liked hairspray. I'm pretty sure that wasn't now the safest haircut to be walking around with. But anyways, nice job. I will actually give you an A plus and a couple of stars. However, we're not done because we want to represent this right here graphically. Okay, x is greater than negative 4. Okay, so this is what your teacher would expect you to have. We have a number line graph. Here's 0. Here's negative 4. Okay, notice I'm putting this down right here on a number line. Then you, because this right here is greater than, so greater than and less than, you're going to use what we call an open circle. If it's great, um, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, you're going to fill in the circle. So this doesn't is not an equal to, it's just greater than. So I'm going to have an open circle, which means that negative 4 is not an answer. Negative 4 is not greater than negative 4. Negative 4 is greater than or equal to negative 4. That's when you would fill that in. Again, I have a ton of other videos on this in my pre-algebra and algebra playlist on inequalities. Or maybe you just want to just take my algebra course. You know, who knows? All right, so here at negative 4, we're going to have an open circle. And then where are all the numbers greater than negative 4? Okay. Well, if you, you know, are in any doubt, just put a number to the right over here, like 10, right? 10's over here. Is 10 greater than negative 4? Yes, it is. So you want to draw your arrow in that direction, okay? So this is all the numbers right here uh, going to infinity that are greater than, uh, but not equal to, negative 4. 
Okay, so if you understand all of that, well, then you clearly have been taking notes. And well, maybe you've been watching my YouTube channel. I don't know, but uh, nevertheless, nice job. Okay, this is basic algebra, but it's only basic because guess what? You know, to me, it's more basic or someone who's just taking, you know, taking a lot of math. But maybe you're learning this for the first time. So it's not basic. Anytime you're learning something for the first time, don't feel bad if you don't understand it. OK, so um, however, though, this is like the beginning of algebra. And you definitely need to know this because you're, you're, you're going to see inequalities come up over and over and over again in mathematics, especially in algebra and beyond. All right, so if this video was helpful in some tiny, small way, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on uh, YouTube for 10 plus years, have over 1,000 plus videos, basic to advanced mathematics, all there for you. My goal, as always, is to try to teach uh, math in a clear and understandable way. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.